good morning. It's the morning of day three on our Tongariro Northern Circuit around the mountain walk. Uh, we're just leaving Rangapo Hut, which is just over the ridge behind me, and heading on towards Manga Ehu Ehu Hut. Uh, the sign says six hours. I'm not entirely certain what the distance is to that hut, but from there we will keep going. Um, up to Blythe Hut, I think, and then continue up the spur before heading overland off trail towards the Alcuni Mountain Road. And then from there, we'll head into Mangaturuturu Hut, which is where we'll sleep tonight. Once again, there's not a cloud in the sky, however, today there's very little breeze. Uh, so I expect it's going to be a very, very hot day today. We're going straight down there, across that little tiny bridge, and uh, back up the other side. back in below the bush line. There's little patches of scrub everywhere. We're just leaving. Manga Ehu Ehu Hut. Um, looks like there's about nine people who stayed there last night who are heading to the same place as we are tonight. So there'll probably be some room in the hut, but not much. We might choose to camp or maybe just sleep in the back room on our mats. We'll see when we get there. Right now uh, we're heading up to Blythe Hut and from Blythe uh, we will yeah, keep heading up the hill and then head overland towards the Awakuni Mountain Road and then on towards Mangaturutu. We're just leaving Blythe Hut. Uh, we got to Blythe Hut just before 1 p.m. and then we just sat around for a little over three hours. I think it's now about quarter past four and we're just setting off again. It was really really hot on the climb up to Blythe Hut so we hoped it would wait until it maybe cooled down a little bit um, and I think it might have cooled down a tiny bit but certainly not much. So now we're heading up the hill a bit more 
until we get above the bush line and out of the scrub. And then from there we'll head uh, out towards the Okuni Mountain Road overland. There isn't really a path here, but I gather it's fairly easy to just pick a route and, and head across. And it beats walking up the road, so we're giving it a go. And then from there it's only about another 3k uh, into the hut. So, not too much longer today. So we just came off our blight hut detour to avoid the road walk. And I think I have to classify this one as a task failed successfully. So we headed up the spur trail, but uh, left our turn off a little bit late. And so we ended up quite high. And as a result, the valleys were quite in size. And so we ended up having to go higher and walk up and down some pretty steep slopes in order to get around them. And as a result, ended up higher than we needed to be. And I had to walk down the road about a K. Um, you know, so we did an hour and a half of clambering over rocks and then almost a kilometer of road walk to avoid three kilometers of road walk. But it was a bit of fun, mostly, until we got to what we thought was going to be the last little ridge and then we looked down and saw a giant cliff and had to go around it. Um, alternatively, we could have intended to go all the way up to the Tudorowski field, which would have been more of a road walk but probably less of a clamber. Um, you'll have learn. I'd like to do it the other direction next time. Um, and just see what it's like from the other way, knowing that if we stay a little bit lower, we will avoid the, the rivers and things. Now we've left the road, we're heading into Mangaturu Turu Hut. Uh, the sign says an hour and a half. It's only three kilometers. So it should be a nice little joint on. And we'll see if we still get a bed or if we're in the tent tonight. about eight o'clock on day four of our trip. Uh, we're just leaving Mangaturutu hut and heading back towards Whakapapa to our car. Uh, we just crossed the river down there, walked up and down a couple of times before finding a spot that we could cross and keep our shoes mostly dry. Um, decided we didn't really want to start the day with wet feet and we managed that. Last night we stayed in our tent outside the hut um, after spending several hours at Blythe Hut and then going cross country, we arrived, I guess it was about half past six. There was two spare mattresses in the hut, but it was pretty full and we decided it would just be easier to tent. First stop on the agenda today is Lake Surprise and then we'll head over to Whakapapa Iti Hut and then head through uh, to Whakapapa from there. Who is that this morning? Don't know if you could hear that. A nice boardwalk for now, and I think the track is fairly easy this morning. of a debate. If 
we go this way. It's an hour more walking on Scoria and then an hour and a half on the road to get to Whakapipa village. Or if we go this way, it's three hours to Whakapipa village, but it's all on trail. And uh, we talked to some people before and they said that this section of trail was quite nice and it was under tree cover. So we're trusting them and we're going via the hut to the village this way. So this trip's coming to an end, uh, just getting closer to Whakapapa village now. I think maybe about half an hour away. There's been a few kind of cool stream crossings, but otherwise it's just a nice forest walk at the moment. There's a lot that's happened today that I haven't been able to record. Uh, a lot of it was really tough, sections of trail that were really poorly maintained, um, so it was hands and feet clambering or quite muddy and slippery and some steep rocky sections and I just need my hands so I can't record so sorry about that you'll have to believe me it was good but it was tough I'm really looking forward to being able to start uploading YouTube videos a lot more frequently again um, now that Raiden and I are in New Zealand and the wedding is over with, we have a lot of trips and adventures all over New Zealand planned. So I really can't wait to share them all with you. If you enjoyed watching this video or any of the other videos on my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. YouTube tells me that for any video I upload, only about 20% of the people who watch it are subscribed, which means 80% of the people who watch it aren't. Subscribing to the channel tells YouTube that you like the video and you'd like to see me again. And in return, it helps them push my video out so that more people can see it. So if you enjoyed it, please just hit that subscribe button and then you can come along with me on my journey. we're out now just walking down the road a few meters back to our car it was a pretty good trip first time I've been out on a multi-day trip since July and it's pretty wonderful to be out and about outside of lockdown COVID conditions can't wait to see what else we get up to when we're in New Zealand